right, don't forget to, to register for virtual Vacation Bible School. You can do so on the Holy Cross website at holycrossfw.org. Don't miss out on the fun. All right, so Mr. Doug and I are going to play a little game. We are going to build a beard with some Fruit Loops. So I'm gonna set the timer for one minute and Mr. Doug and I are gonna to try to get as many Fruit Loops on the beard as we can. All right, Mr. Doug, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, all right, I'm setting the timer. Oops, I have it set for 10 minutes, that would be good. Okay, ready, set, go. Mr. Doug, you're, what are you doing? You're supposed to be throwing the Fruit Loops. I like Fruit Loops. <laughs> all right, that's it. We gotta start all over oh, again. Okay. <laughs> all right, now when I say go, throw the Fruit Loops, fruit loops and build your beard, okay? okay? okay. All right, ready, set, go. <laughs> <laughs> they don't stick to you very well. <laughs> oh. oh, Ellie, you sure enjoy your mess. <laughs> oh. Oh no! Oh. oh my god! Oh, that one made it. Oh, there we go. Now it's all oh. over with. Now you're oh. done. Oh, oh no! Uh -oh. oh no, we have 33 seconds to go! Bring in the cleanup crew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello, kids, and welcome to KidWise. It is so great to be here with you today. We have Mr. Doug joining us today. I'm not sure if you can see her back here, but Ellie Dog is back here joining us as well. All right, so we are continuing on with determination, and determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dive into our Bible story. And if you remember this month, we've been checking out what happened after Jesus went to heaven and the early church began to grow. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came and filled a room full of believers. They were able to speak in languages and they didn't know and they were able to share the good news about Jesus. Sure. 3,000 people came to know Jesus that day. Later, Peter and John told other people about Jesus, and by that point, there were more than 5,000 believers. That's a lot, isn't it? That is a lot. Wow. Some of the people needed special care. They weren't able to provide food for themselves, and they needed help. What do you think the other believers did about that? They definitely helped them. You are correct. Why don't you get that first box and show the kids what is inside that box? Ooh, look at that. Food. Yes, they shared their food with people. The apostles, those who had been with Jesus while he was on earth, made a plan. They chose seven wise men who listened to and followed God's Holy Spirit. Their job was to make sure that everyone had exactly what they needed. One of the seven men was named Stephen. What do you think? Do you think Stephen was a good guy or a bad guy? What do you think? He told the good news. All right. He was a very good guy. All right. Why don't you go ahead and show the kids what is in the next box? Kind of like Superman. 
Stephen was a really good guy. He was full of faith and full of the Holy Spirit. When someone needed help, everyone thought of Stephen. More and more people believed in Jesus as the apostles continued to teach. Meanwhile, Stephen and the other six men made sure that all the believers were cared for. Stephen was doing what was right, but some of the religious leaders started to argue with him. The Holy Spirit gave him the wisdom to be able to answer them. The religious leaders didn't like this one bit, so they schemed against Stephen. In secret, they convinced some men to lie about Stephen. The men started telling people that they had heard Stephen speak evil things against Moses, which was a big deal. The men even said Stephen said evil things against God. When the people heard these lies, they weren't sure what to think. How could this man of God say such things? When the religious leaders heard how the people were stirred up, what do you think they did to Stephen? Let's go ahead and find out, Mr. Doug. Show the kids what's in the next box. Handcuffs. The religious leaders had Stephen arrested. Even though they knew the rumors were a lie, they brought Stephen before the gathering known as the, the Sanhedrin, and Stephen was put on trial. The religious leaders interviewed men who lied about Stephen. They said that they had heard Stephen speak against the law of Moses and the Holy Temple. How do you think Stephen responded to these lies? Stephen could have gotten angry and yelled. But he didn't. He didn't. He acted peacefully. Yes. That's a peace sign. He acted peacefully. And in Acts chapter 6, 15, it says his face was like the face of an angel. Stephen didn't worry about what the others were saying about him because he knew the truth. The high priest asked Stephen if these accusations were true. Stephen wanted the leaders to understand the truth about Jesus. He knew that God was with him and he was filled with courage. Even though he knew that the religious leaders could kill him, Stephen spoke with boldness and told them how Jesus was the most important part of a plan that God had set in motion with Abraham so long ago. And he proceeded to tell them about Abraham and Jacob and Joseph and King David. So who do you think, after he told him about King David, who do you think he told him about next? Let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Jesus. Yeah. He told them about Jesus. And he said this. This is from Acts 7, 51 and 52. You stubborn people, you won't obey. You won't listen. You are just like your people of long ago. You always oppose the Holy Spirit. Was there ever a prophet your people didn't try to hurt? They even killed those who told about the coming of the blameless one. And now you have handed him over to his enemies. You have murdered him. How do you think the religious leaders responded when Jesus said this? Let's find out what is in the next box. I don't think they were happy. No, they were not happy. They were angry. Even though Stephen spoke the truth about Jesus, the religious leaders were very angry. God knew what was in their hearts, so he gave Stephen a vision of heaven. God allowed Stephen to see something that no one else there could see. Stephen looked up and saw Jesus standing with God. Can you imagine seeing what heaven looks like? But the religious leaders didn't want to hear another word from Stephen. They covered their ears and yelled, Let's go ahead and open what's in the last box. It's a rock. The religious leaders dragged Stephen out of the city. They left their coats with a man named Saul. 
They all started throwing stones at, at Stephen, trying to kill him. While they did this, Stephen prayed to God. He asked God not to hold this horrible act against the people. He asked God to forgive them of their sin. What faith. Even though Stephen had only done what was right, he died that day. Jesus had told his followers to live out his love everywhere, no matter what. Through God's power, Stephen had continued to share God's love all the way to his last breath. What happened to Stephen was very terrible and sad. Maybe it wasn't how you expected the story to go, but the good news is it wasn't the end of the story. Remember, God showed Stephen a vision. Stephen knew that when he died, he would be with Jesus in heaven. So Stephen was able to keep going because he knew that God was with him. You and I need to remember that too. And that takes us to our bottom line for today. Keep going because God knows the end of the story. And God is always with us. He always is there for us. And he loves us so much. All right. Thank you, Mr. Doug, for helping tell the story today. I think, oh, Ellie's not sleeping, which is a surprise. All right. So kids, I know that things have changed for us these last couple of months. And Life is looking very different. And the lesson from today just really reminded me about how we're all in this together and how we can show God's love to others right now. There's lots of people who might be feeling sad or lonely. Maybe they're not feeling well, or maybe they just they need someone to be nice to them. Maybe it's a friend you haven't talked to in a while. Maybe they just need to hear from you. But there are lots of ways that we can show God's love. We can share our food. We can take it to a food pantry. We can share our food with maybe somebody who doesn't have a whole lot right now. Um, we could draw people a picture, send them a card through the mail. I just challenge you this week to do one kind thing for somebody. It can even be somebody in your house. All right, you guys have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye.